So, um, hi everyone. Um, I'm Precious Obiora, and um, I'll be taking bridging the knowledge gap in the information ecosystem to prevent content deficits on Wikipedia. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> so um, I'm supposed to be presenting with um Kemi Mackinday, but she's not here, so I'll be taking it alone. Now, um, this everyone is everyone is familiar with this quote. Am I right? Yeah. So, okay, <laughs> by Jimmy Wales, <laughs> and we all know who Jimmy Wales is. Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay. <laughs> no, you can go up. <laughs> so, okay, imagine a world in which every single person on the planet is given free access to the sum of all human knowledge, and that's what we're doing, and that's what I've believed we've been doing. And for me, the key word is all. But then. When, what if not, what if, I, um, what if we are not able to put all human knowledge on Wikipedia? And why editing Wikipedia over the past four years? I realized that some, there's some blind spots, there's some gaps. And I think that's what everybody here has been trying to feel. And um, yesterday during the journalism award, I was very excited because I now know that um, so many people are aware and I also think what I have gotten the idea to do. So, um, oh yeah, too fast. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. However, without published stories in the mainstream media, we cannot write on Wikipedia because we need references to write it. So basically, Wikipedia is like a tertiary source. Like the the, the um, we need the primary sources. Can go down. Can go now. <laughs> so go down. Okay, go down. Go down. Okay, yeah. So now, um, so far we've noticed that the African story is incomplete, often stereotyped, distorted, and at times presented in a harmful narrative. Um, this so far has contributed to the assumption um, that uh, reported news or content does not see the light of day. Now, um, when it comes to things about Africa, there are so many narratives. I remember on, um, what's the Wikipedia for um, travel? Voyage. Wiki Voyage, yeah. And I saw <laughs> Nigeria is the source of Africans' problem. And that is what I saw on Wiki Voyage. And <laughs> I felt attacked, first of all, but um, I, we have, I was able to edit that. But my point is sometimes because of how the media has carried it, our stories have been misrepresented. We have like, I, I think um, more... The, uh, we have more um, Westerners than Wikipedia editors, that's the whites, and and they have sometimes written content relating to Africa, and sometimes because they are not here experiencing it, it is often um, not as accurate as possible. We had the issue of um, answers. Who, who knows of the answers? Okay, yeah. And okay, for example, the Morocco earthquake, um, someone here in Morocco will probably know how to write it in a like more than someone that is outside. Okay, you can go down. So um, so we need document documentation in like for example, villages, streets, that and and um um our culture, our foods. Um, songs, yeah, songs, <laughs> um, healthcare, and so many other things. You can go on, go on. I'm trying to keep to time. Now, I believe that in our stories will be the stars to the solution to the challenge of content deficits in the African media space. Uh, when I first noticed the content gap, I thought, oh, let me just fix it. And I created articles, <laughs> and I created articles. <laughs> Okay, I, I think I single-handedly did, um, I, breached, I created articles on Nigerian judo athletes and taekwondo athletes, female athletes. I sat down to do that. But then as I kept editing, I kept saying, I, I, can't, I can't do this alone. And um, now I'm seeing, now there's still some things that shocked me. For example, can go on. Okay. Okay, let me okay, let me, let me just go on. So why is the media an important factor to the Wikimedia community? Go on. Okay. Now, um, when trying to bridge the content gap, like what I said, creating art, creating content 
all Nigerian uh, uh, female athletes. I noticed some there were no there were no there were no reports online I could use. There were there were no reports, and which was really shocking. But then as I went on to edit and to try to create more articles, I discovered I could not bridge the gap because there was nothing to write on. There were no sources. And then now I think about it, it's like when why um when we when what if we're not asking the right questions? We see a gap. Okay, go on. We see a gap and we try to fill it. But when I came back to ask myself the right questions, why can't the gap be bridged? It now brought me back to the media. So the media was the problem. You can go on. Yeah. So if the media is reporting, we claim the media is doing their job, then why do we have so many untold truths about the history of Africa now? So, so for some topics like articles, particularly relating to well, uh, wellness, music, and more, there are no, there are no, there are no enough content. It's surprising that last year, 2022, I created the article for climate of Nigeria on Wikipedia, and it was I struggled trying to write that article honestly because there were no content. So, what we say because there are no content, we don't have climates in Nigeria. Is that is that what we're trying to say? But then it's needed. But then it's needed. And then, and, and, and then there's so many, and it was really shocking for me because so many countries have the climate of their country, this climate of US on Wikipedia. Why up until 2022 is there no, there's no article on climate of Nigeria. And I wrote it and so I think someone was debating with me that I was, there were no sources, but I live in Nigeria. I know Nigeria is hot. I know what, what, what month Nigeria is hot. I know what month is cold, but I could not defend this. And that was because the media was not doing their job. So, um, now how do we solve the problem of content deficits in the media? And honestly, I don't have the answer. Actually, I just, just, I spoke to a few people and um working with now I'm working with some journalists and um we've done we've, we've done um a Wikipedia awareness where we told journalists that okay we are having these problems and you guys can fix this because you do that in your daily life. And now we did we, we did an awareness. So now they're aware that there are some topics they are like blind that they are, um, what's the word, that they are not covering. And that has been really, really, that's where we, we keep fact checkers group coming. And now, now they are like a group of media professionals, journalists, authors, researchers, fact checkers, and so many people that are really interested now in covering the African story, which makes me so happy. And so that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> So we've done, we've done this year. They've been, there was also an event. Okay. There was also, we also did a project where we taught Wikipedians how to verify sources and um, how to verify news before they put it on Wikipedia, how to know if something is accurate and how to fact check and um, how to also look for sources. So like that has really helped the fact that we've been able to bridge. I've been able to bridge the gap that I saw along with so many others. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done. So I'm done. That does it. My time is up. Any questions? questions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Two questions. Yeah, this is for you. <laughs> uh, the, the, the reality is clear that uh, there is an issue of uh, a lot of information about our continent in Wikimedia. So uh, there is a question, please. No question. Uh, I I think you can link with uh, Bukula, who works with uh, Code for Africa, because the there is a course uh, uh, that I was uh, in residence Wikimedia in residence this year about climate change. So uh, Code for Africa can be partner in, in in your yeah good and and they have tools about uh, fact check too, so we can you can you can bridge. Yeah. Can you please? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so you've seen all of these um, knowledge gaps. Um, how do you decide what to do first? What's most important? Uh, the oh. best way to approach that would be firstly trying to uh, carry out a need assessment. Because you really need to understand uh, the needs of the people. And then once you have carried out the need assessment, then you can now go through to see what possible best solution or how best you can start by addressing the challenges that you've identified. Yeah. 
So um, let me just add to that. Um, and like I said, we figured we needed to create more content on the media to be able to bridge those gaps. And that was like, um, so but what we started with, we can do about it. The second one is also to train existing editors in Nigeria where we did uh, um, an event, like um, a training, and then we taught them, okay, these are the tools you could use to cross-check this. And also, um, um, it, also coming to comments, like, telling them, oh, before you put pictures, you can check if it's already exists and, and stuff like that. So like, that's what we've done so far. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, my time is up. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.